Hey guys, welcome back to Puffet Lauda, and welcome back to a game that I haven't played in many moons, and the one that I've been kind of anticipating for a really long time, Anacon, Animal Complex. This is the third path, it's Rabbit's Path. I'm gonna try to voice as, like, uh, as much as I can, uh, like the previous route, so, uh, the cat's path and the sheep's path, but... To be honest, I don't really remember all of their voices, so if they're a little different, please forgive me. I'm trying my best. <laughs> um, let's just get right into it since it's been so long. It should be pretty quick, but I'm excited. I'm going to be using the mouse for most of this anyway, so I don't really need the directional cues. Oh, they're so cute! Okay, so we can skip the prologue, opening movie, and introduction. If you guys want to see that, you can watch The Cat's Path. That actually is my first playthrough for, like, everything. Um, but I'm not gonna play through that again, so... Into the rabbit's path we go. It's time to go down the rabbit hole, okay? This is very different from Café Enchanté. This one! The rabbit. Mm-hmm! <laughs> They're just too adorable! They are, but... Alright. Dalos, are you there? Come here. Yes? She wants to go down the rabbit hole. Oh boy! <laughs> I still have many things to do. You can handle everything else, right? My dear daughter-in-law, Go ask Dallas if you have any additional inquiries. See you later. Din, huh? You sure know how to pick. Now then, follow me. It's coming back to me now. <laughs> it's all coming back to me now. <laughs> uh, oh. oh, what a cute looking room. This is where you'll be staying from now on. You may start moving your belongings here whenever you can. Your hours are early morning, late afternoon, or whenever we're not performing. You can use any cleaning equipment inside the cupboards. Brooms, brushes, mops, you name it, we have it. Feel free to use whatever you deem necessary. Other than that, you are free to go anywhere you want. However, please refrain from leaving town without permission. Are you with me so far? Yes. Good. Remember that while cleaning is your job, your true mission is to get our rabbit to fall for you. Don't worry, we'll give you a whole year to win his heart. Um, what if I can't make it happen in a year? What will happen to me? Truth be told, I would not blame you even if you cannot make it. Of all people, you just have to pick him. I don't think you answered my question. In any case, feel free to ask around if you want any additional advice. The choice is ultimately in your hands. I wish you luck. I shall do my best. Good. Oh, before I forget, we will have a welcome party for you at the end of the day. I did mention that our family is a bit of a riot, but I'm sure you can handle it. Let's hope so. <laughs> Don't worry, I believe you will do well. Please look forward to it. Wow. This is all kinds of crazy, even by my standards. Well, it was my fault for trespassing in the first place, so I guess I'll have to deal with it. They are a little strange, but they don't seem like bad people. Plus, I already promised I'd do my best. Let's see. They're still performing now. I have to wait until late afternoon before I can start working. Mr. Owl told me to move my things here. I might as well do that now. Shuffle, shuffle. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> is it me or like every episode or every route that she does this, she gets crazier and crazier. Like I don't remember there being so many stuffed animals last time. Phew, that took a while but I finally moved everything. Well, it's not like I have many things to begin with. Anyway, this is where I'll be staying from now on. It's not a bad feeling. Oh my god, even her rug has bunnies on it. D-Circus. Forgot about Dick Circus. Oh man. The performance has ended. Alrighty. Time to get cracking. Oh, I haven't said that in so long. <sighs> Anyways, 
Let's see, so I'm gonna follow a guide because I don't want to miss anything. Um, I don't know if you guys remember this, but uh, back in the sheep's path, there was something where you could miss like getting the like ingredients or something like that. And if you miss it, then you make a bento that is literally so sad. Like, and she was like, it was the only, what was the item? We only had carrots, I think last time. And there were no carrots in the fucking bento. It was just literally rice with a plum. And I was like, that is not right. So, uh, Jenny, just replay the freaking uh, the clip, you know, Puff or whatever. I, I don't know what I'm going by right now. I might go by Puff since everybody on Twitter knows me as Puff. But either way, editor version of myself, please insert that very sad bento into <laughs> this episode. I only um, made you something with carrots. <laughs> uh, what is that? There's no carrots in it. Episode. Um, to avoid that, I am not going to do that. I'm going to try to follow a guide. It says choice three, t like, so I assume it's the boys room? All right, let's go. Examine the area. This area is really dirty. Would you like to clean it? Uh, wait, hold on. So, let me take a moment to figure this out. It says choice three, but then it, it should, there should be monkey. Oh, here's monkey. What the hell? Okay, well, I guess- Oh, I guess this is choice three. It says it on the bottom. That's so bizarre. Anyway, let's talk to Monkey. Uh... Oh, it's the super cute Monkey. I'm so happy to see you again. <sighs> if only I didn't lose my wallet here. Oh! <laughs> oh, God. Uh, here we go. Well, did someone say help? Oh! Mr. Rabbit! I didn't say help, but help me, please! <laughs> You're in luck, Bunny! The Great Detective is at your service, Bunny! You're a Great Detective, Mr. Rabbit? There's only one truth, Bunny! I heard that some stuff has gone missing recently, Bunny. There's a high possibility of the thief lurking in the circus, Bunny. What an amazing deduction! That Detective R is practically oozing out of you, Mr. Rabbit! With you here, I'm sure we can find my wallet in no time. Of course, Bunny! The great detective is always effective! Isn't he amazing, Mr. Monkey? Mr. Monkey doesn't seem to be impressed, but we are going to be okay, right? Bruh, my fucking throat is gonna be dead by the end of this freaking playthrough. Here we go. We found a chef coupon. Okay. That's what I mean. I knew that they were gonna slip something in there. All right, so this is choice number four. We're gonna examine, we're gonna clean. A dude coupon, okay. Choice five, so we're gonna clean again. A mirage coupon. So we're gonna skip choice six, go to choice seven. And we're gonna talk to Cat. Good morning, Mr. Cat. What are you doing? I'm cleaning the stage for your welcome party. I see. May I help you? Oh, that would be great. Thank you. It might be tough seeing as we're the only janitors here, but I do hope we can get along. Certainly. On top of being so adorable, Mr. Cat is also very well-mannered. I have a feeling that we will get along. Oh, and that was the end of free time, I guess. I, okay. So we can't do everything at once? That's interesting. Oh no, I have no idea what <laughs> She's already here. What should we do? Oh my God, what happened? Huh? <gasps> um, this is the welcome party, right? It's not what I was expecting, but it's welcoming. I guess. I like how they drew a fucking smiley face on the balloon with paint. It looks horrible. <laughs> now confess. 
before I send someone in the gutter. Who did this? It's not me. I was too busy cooking. I repeat, who did this? I'm sorry, big brother. This is Land's masterwork. Hella hot, right? I haven't felt this burst of inspiration in a while. <laughs> Inspired by a six-year-old, maybe? If you got any complaints, send it to the furball. This was supposed to be his job, but dude just had to ditch it. It can't be helped. Mr. Rabbit, the great detective, is currently busy looking for my missing wallet. The great what? Mr. Rabbit, the great detective. Barf. <laughs> it does seem that we are left with no choice. We will have to make it do with this mess. In any case, our heroine is finally here. I'm sure all of you have heard it from Mom. This lovely girl here is Klana. She will be working with us from now on. Everyone, please give her a warm welcome. Well, well, welcome. welcome. What a spirited welcome that was. You can't expect us to be spirited. Especially when we're surrounded by this... Indeed. Even the poor food is losing its appeal. Everyone, where are our manners? I love elephants! I love him. Oh, I'm so sad there's not going to be another uh, Anacon after this. I think the publisher decided to just end it with uh, just Anacon Party. So we don't get to see Naveed's root. I'm so heartbroken. Naveed is the elephant, by the way. Just in case you've forgotten. <laughs> We have yet to introduce ourselves, have we not? More importantly, food shall never lose its appeal. Ew, he's drooling everywhere. That is right. The main purpose of this party is to let Klana become better familiar with us. Without further ado, let us introduce ourselves. I'm the eldest, Dallas. I'm the master of ceremonies and the accountant off stage. As expected of Big Brother. To be completely unfazed by this environment. A con man has to be good at keeping his face straight. Ahem. <coughs> Did you say something, Land? N no, nothing. Good. Now it's your turn, Die. Huh? Huh? Is it my turn already? We're going from oldest to youngest. That's why you are the next one in line. I see. But but what should I say? What's your name, Mr. Sheep? My, my name's Di. I'm in charge of our meals off stage. What about on stage? On stage, I... I'm going to die. What? Can it be... You are the sacrificial lamb on stage? Please pardon him, m'lady. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Di gets frightened easily. Can you blame him? Dude's job is to get molested by the audience. Land, I don't know if you're allowed to say that. No, it's your decor, Land. I think it's finally getting to him. That is enough, Di. Naveed, it's your turn. Finally, the time's come for me to introduce myself, m'lady. This gentleman here is Naveed, the third brother and one of the main performers. Elegantly juggling money balls at once is my best skill. <laughs> I can barely say that sentence with a straight face. Oh god. Working on maintenance and repair is also my duty when I'm not performing. Mr. Sheep looks like he has something to say, but he's too shaken to do so. So, who's up next? What? Me? <laughs> my bad. I'm Kid, the middle bro. Acrobatics are my life, driving's my pastime, and this is Cad, my younger twin bro. He's like super adorable, yeah? <laughs> Mr. Cat looks like he has something to say, but just like Mr. Sheep, he's too shaken to do so. Can't be helped. Although he looks all serious, my little bro's actually a scaredy cat. <laughs> this isn't good for my heart. Besides, this much paint. How long do you think it's going to take me to clean this mess? I know I'm in charge of cleaning the circus and making sure everything's in order, but this is just... Oh, right! 
Mr. Cat's a janitor, just like me. No worries. I'll drag Din to you while we're at it. Din? Who cares about some useless fur? Okay, I'm next. I'm Land, the second youngest. My job is to run around distributing flyers. Huh? You don't perform, Mr. Snail? I do, but it ain't the most flattering job. He's the ball that Din the rabbit tramples on. Oh, shut up, kid. Um, is it just me? Mr. Snail doesn't get along with Mr. Rabbit, does he? Oh, they are as loving as an old married couple. Who's an old married couple now? Look at your masterwork. It looks like something straight from a cheap horror flick. Of all people, who do you think would appreciate it? But... Yes? Do you have a problem with my statement? Wow. Mr. Owl shuts down Mr. Snail easily. I can totally tell who's the boss in these siblings. Is that everyone? We're missing our card. Our card? That's our youngest brother. He should be here somewhere. Oh no! Somebody painted on him too! Oh god! Beautiful, beautiful. What is this feeling? My cheeks are heating up. The burning sensation in my chest. This increasing heart rate that can't be stopped. Is this what you call falling in love? <laughs> it's happening, it's happening. Our card's the man, yeah? Amazing. How could a pig be so glorious in spite of all the paints? Our card's like the most popular attraction in the circus. That pork, I mean, body is irresistible, yeah? I don't know why, but that's rather convincing for some reason. So, are you guys done with the introductions? <laughs> oh no. Mom. Mom! All my sons are wonderful, right? Yes! Animals are the best! Don't you think she's praising a totally different thing? Anyway, there's plenty of time. Enjoy your welcome party, my dear daughter-in-law. Yes! By the way, what is with this mess? Phew, I ate too much. It's been such a long time since I've had so much fun. I thought it was going to be a nightmare, but I'm glad to be here. Everyone's so nice. A little strange, but really nice. But I wonder how Mr. Rabbit's doing. In the end, he didn't come to the party. Will this work out? Hmm? Wow! Would you look at that? Who made these awesome decorations? Mr. Rabbit! How'd it go? Did you find my wallet? I did find the culprit, but not without a huge obstacle, Bunny. Obstacle? Come with me, Bunny. This is where I lost my wallet. I asked the people around here, Bunny. They said they saw a black cat lurking around the circus lately, Bunny. I don't know why I was struggling to say that. When you drop your wallet here, the likelihood of that cat grabbing it is high, Bunny. I see. So that's what happened. You're so smart, Mr. Rabbit. That's a small fry, Bunny. I want to say case closed, but we aren't done, Bunny. Take a look, Bunny. Oh, it's so cute! Uh, my wallet! You're right, Mr. Rabbit. The black cat took it away. Let me introduce you to Kuromaro, Bunny. Is that your cat, Mr. Rabbit? No, it's just a stray bunny. I named it just for fun, Bunny. I, I see. So, how do we get it to return my wallet? That's the problem, Bunny. I tried to get it down, but it won't budge, Bunny. The tree's not too tall. I suppose we can try climbing the tree. Did I just say suppose? I meant suppose. <laughs> Do we have to, Bunny? Alrighty, I'll give it a go. Uh, hold on! It's dangerous! I... I'll do it. Are you sure, Mr. Rabbit? 
There are times where a man has to dive into the frying pan. Here I go, bunny. It's just climbing a tree. Does it have to be so dramatic? Mr. Rabbit, his hands are trembling. <laughs> Watch out, Mr. Rabbit! Oh! <laughs> Look at his face! Oh my god, it's so beautiful! <laughs> Why does he look so... I don't know, so fat! I like it. <laughs> Phew, that was close. Are you okay, Mr. Rabbit? I can't breathe. I, I thought... I thought I was gonna die! Oh. Mr. Rabbit? Huh? Whoops. You're Mr. Rabbit, right? But you were a rabbit just a moment ago. Why did you suddenly transform? Don't tell me. It's like pulling a rabbit out of a hat, isn't it? Ha <laughs> no, I don't know why it's Mickey. Oh, it's Tim. Mr. Owl. You're a half correct. Just as I have told you earlier, we are humans who have been turned into animals. We will return to our original form whenever our heart rate increases above normal. Din really hates to exercise. His heart rate increases with the slightest physical activities. Of course, each of us has different triggers to our transformation. I will leave it to you to figure out the rest. I see. Sports. It's the bane of my existence. Why would someone, or why would you, want to be tired and stinky at the same time? Only some stupid slime would love that. And off he goes. Is he always like that? Yes. Don't say I didn't warn you. Din is a special case even among us. I see. Does it bother you? Do you regret choosing him? I... Hey! Oh. Huh? You forgot this. Oh my god! Oh no! That fucking... The wallet, the, the fact that the opening is like a giant smile is terrifying. It's so terrifying. My wallet! How did you... I grabbed it before I fell. That's all. See you! Now, where are my detective hat and pipe? They should have fallen around here somewhere. Did he return just to give this back to me? Mr. Owl. Mr. Rabbit's so unpredictable. If it's him, I'm sure it would be fun. <laughs> That's great to hear. Welcome to the Dick Circus. We hope you enjoy your stay. So... What do you think? A great catch, isn't she? Mom, you really are something else. To think you managed to turn the situation into this. Not only can you marry one of us off, you also gain a free worker. Way to kill two birds with one stone. But Mom, what if she runs away? This is Din we are talking about. Sure, she's naive enough to choose him, but can anyone truly handle him? That's already within my calculation, is what I would like to say, but it certainly is a concern. Indeed. It's worrying. Let's have faith. That's what my intuition tells me. I took a liking the instant I saw her. If it's her, then perhaps even our dear Din could get himself a bride. We just need to give them a little push. Possibly, maybe... Playing Cupid for Din, huh? What could possibly go wrong? As the day turns into night, I close my eyes and remember. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow's a mystery. But today is a gift. That's why it's called the present. I watched Kung Fu Panda. That's the reason why I have that quote. <laughs> Even if everyone else is worried about me, everything will turn out okay in the end. Right? Oh my lord. This has been such a time. And we're gonna stop here. 
I- a new life begins. I- Wow, I've missed this so much. This is so cute. I seriously haven't played in so long, and I'm so sorry if my voices are not as accurate as they used to be, but, you know, I tried. <laughs> um, next episode, I guess we're gonna see, I guess, I don't know, we're just gonna see Rabbit a lot more, and hopefully we can get, I don't know, we can get didn't like us and we'll end up together. Woohoo!